hopefully the wind's not blowing too bad. I took a road trip and up here where I bought my other Studebaker's at. Look at this four door. We'll view it. And a bunch more parts of cars. But this four door here, it's a, uh, it's, I think it's a commander. I don't think it's a champion, but uh, in a whole lot better shape than what the other one is. And it comes with a bunch of parts. Maybe we'll come back and get it. But here, can't forget, this is the uh, 374 Packard. It's got Packard right on the valve covers. This is the one that we came to get to hopefully get together and maybe put in that 31 5 window. That's the plans for it eventually. Okay, folks, uh, late at night, made it home. Uh, it was sure a full day. Uh, Pretty good little ways away, and me and my wife just made it into a, a day of visiting in the mountains. And uh, it's a couple hundred miles away. But I got it back, uh, got it unloaded, and first thing I wanted to check, of course, see if it was stuck or not. And it is stuck. And I didn't buy it as a loose engine or anything like that. So uh, uh, the guy that got I got this from got it from another guy, and nobody really knew much about it. I do know that he poured a lot of oil in it, uh, and he probably poured some down the carburetor, I would say, and let it sit. Now, the original guy that owned it probably knew it was stuck, but it, you know, still it's not a big issue to me. Uh, I can tell the engine hasn't been taken down. Uh, also, a good engine with minimal clearance, uh, not wore out, will stick way faster than a wore out engine. So sometimes being stuck is a good thing. So uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll get this pulled down and bag and tag everything and that way we don't lose anything and see if we can get her figured out. And pretty original, everything, spark plug wires intact, in place, carburetor uh, choke, got the heat choke. So, you know, this is pretty much an unmessed with engine. And he did have a cap over the the top radiator hose and bottom, so we're good there. Uh, I'm not sure I didn't check transmission fluid. I know it's definitely over full on oil, but there's no water in it. I didn't see any water. Transmission fluid does not look good at all. So this will probably be something that will adapt over to something else, whether it be a you know stick shift or another automatic. Uh, the good thing about this is the starter is mounted to the bell housing that is made to the part of it's made to the engine. So the starter is going to be there no matter what. We'll just have to do some adapting for a, a uh, the volt pattern and uh, for a torque converter or whatever we use. You know, everything like that is just a uh, you know pretty much a list of problems. It's how many problems you're going to have. Uh, you know, like if you're going to go with stick shift, you're going to have pilot bushing. Uh, you're going to have the throttle burn. You're going to have the fresh plate and clutch. But, you know, basically it's just a list of problems and you just solve each problem as you go. And, uh, you know, some of them's got less and some's got more. And uh, we're in the middle of solving the problems of the, uh, the Franklin right now. And uh, getting parts lined up, getting parts, you know, headed this way and everything. And I think everybody will be surprised on it of what, what we ended up, you know, doing. So, anyway, I'll show you more on this. Uh, Probably tear it down maybe tomorrow if we get time. All right. Okay, folks. Next day, uh, back on the Packard uh, 374 engine, and we're going to pull the valve covers, pull spark plugs out, see what it looks like, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, folks. Valve covers are off. Everything looks good. Not a sign of uh, rust or anything. No problems. So let's pull the plugs and take a look at each one of them. Okay, folks, here's number two spark plug. It was already loose. The rest of them are all tight. They don't look real bad. I don't know why it was loose, but uh, let's go back to get four. We'll do four, six, and eight. Okay, I see no problem with four, six, and eight. 
They actually look better than uh, the number two. Number eight might have a little bit of rust in it, not much, but let's go to the other side. Okay, I was told that his buddy had put oil down the cylinders. Now I think he has because all these plugs, none of them were really tight. Uh, that one's dry. Don't look bad. That's one. Three. Not too bad. Not bad. And number seven. Not bad. Hmm. Almost makes you wonder why it's stuck. I think we'll put the plugs out maybe try to turn it again. It didn't move at all though, so I don't think we're going to help anything. Might have to pull the starter off. Make sure that's not jammed in or anything like that. So, alright, let me get at it. Most all engines I've messed with that have been frozen, you can move the crankshaft a little tiny bit back and forth. This thing is just solid. Will not move whatsoever. So that's why I think we're going to Pick it up and see if we can pull the starter. Make sure that there's not anything jamming it, you know, that way. Because that crank should be at least rocking a little tiny bit. I mean, it's just as tight as if you had it welded to the mains, you know, on the block. So, I think I'll raise it up and see if we can get the starter off. All right, starter wasn't engaged. And, uh, I don't think there's any issues there. But we're going to take a pry bar and go in there and just see... If we can move it, it's usually a little easier to move with the flywheel than what it is with the front because I'm afraid of breaking the bolt off. So we'll see what we can figure out there. Well, this is unbelievable. Sometimes I think I'm the luckiest person in the world on these engines. Uh, just went in there and you get a lot of leverage if you do it like this. You just don't want to it, break a teeth off, you know, any teeth off, but if you'll put a good piece in there and then pry down, I actually got it to turn. And now it's turning backwards, and that's what I wanted. I turned it backwards, and got it turning away, and come back forward, and it was kind of stiff. And then I got it on past it, and then uh, just kept going back and forth. And finally, I'm not all the way. There's still one spot where there must be some oil on top, and uh, I think we're going to get it. We'll get it where I can turn it, you know, all the way around with no problem. And then we'll put a starter back on it, hook a battery to it, and see if we can get any oil that was in the cylinders that he's supposed to put in it we'll get all that out so so far we're moving right along on it uh i was figuring on having to tear it down but we might might get by without taking it apart we'll see all right. if you can see here in the pine straw it's rolling back but when it comes down it's hitting the spot right there and i'm going to say that's rust on one of the cylinders and it just went past it. Yep. Yeah. I hear a valve issue. Make sure there's not any valve. Look like a push rod. I've been the push rod. Oh, okay. That's not a valve noise. That's oil shooting out the cylinder is what I'm hearing. There, I don't like, but it's going past it. All right, we got it rolling over all the way. I'm going to go through and check and see if there's any valve stuck. If there's not, we'll put the starter back on. All right, okay, so we do have two, two valves stuck that I've found. We've got number two. 
uh, exhaust valve stuck and number six exhaust valve. So I'm going to spray them from up top and try to work with them a little bit, hopefully get them popped. This one I had popped up once, so I think it's going to be fine. So if we can get number six loosened up, and uh, we'll just keep at it. And eventually here, we might get it to where we can do a first start on it. I had absolutely no plans to do a first start video on this engine today, but it may work out that way. We'll see. All right. Okay. Show you number two here. Spray it first. Come on, Bree. What is it, Bree? What is it, Bree? All right, go play. Go play. I got to work. All right. All right. You can see what the, what the gap is there. stuck too bad all right okay so we got two and six unstuck okay folks now that i've got it turning over by hand and all the valves seem to be closing i'm gonna put the starter back on we'll hook a battery to it and see how it spins see if we can get all that oil out of the cylinders all right so uh got it picked up we got the battery hooked up we'll turn it over and get all the oil out for some reason the solenoid's sticking so as soon as we touch it on it's jumping in which is fine i can even run it that way just run it on Ford solenoid if I needed to, but we'll, I'm sure, fix it. But uh, anyway, Noah, move the battery down that way so you don't get oily. It's shooting oil out pretty hard. All right, hold it on. Keep rolling it for a little bit and try to get it all out. It looks like we're going to get a battery. It's got some juice in it. Yeah. Everybody gets mad at me about that, too. A lot of dead batteries around here. <laughs> a lot of batteries, but a lot of dead ones. Most of them are. All right. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Try her again. Valves ain't seating on this side, so it's not making any compression. Try it again over here. That's good. Keep on going. All right. We got four cylinders with compression on that side. Try it one more time. Now. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, we got two cylinders there. I don't think the valve's seating quite good, but if we get it started, it won't really matter. It'll probably eventually come in. Maybe clean the dirt off the seats or rust or whatever. And then again, we may end up having to tear it down, but either way, we're going to start it first. I think we've got everything taken care of where we know it's not going to do any damage. So now we've got two dead batteries, which it was about dead too. So. We got one on charge. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let me see. We got drain the oil, put some oil in it, and what else? No. Clean the points. Yeah. Put the plugs back in. You want to look through the power ready? I don't know whether we're going to just pour gas down it or not. We'll see. All right. Okay, so our points don't look too bad, just white and crusty there. So we're going to get them out. Uh, this has got single point distributor. The uh, Studebaker with a 352 or has got dual point distributor. So, all right, let me get at it. Clean the spark plugs, put them back in. Uh, we're gonna hook the battery up, hook some power up to it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that starter's all right. It wasn't spinning really good, you know, without the uh, without the plugs in. So I doubt it's gonna spin real good with them in, but. We're just going to see if it'll fire up, see if we can get it to pop or something. I'm not going to redo the carburetor yet. We're going to go just pour some gas in it and try it. We'll see what happens here.
let it charge a little bit. All right, we're gonna let the battery charge a little bit. She's trying. I think it's gonna start up. Now there's a lot of oil in it, so it's gonna blow a lot of smoke. Just like Noah, it's gonna blow a lot of smoke. <laughs> All right, Noah, you ready? Yep. Power's hooked up. Yep. Good go. All yep. right, go ahead. All right, so we're about to get it, but uh, it's been kind of a thing, but we'll, we're going to get it to fire here for us, over. we? All right. Well, one good thing, the solenoid fixed itself. Not quite sure how, but it did. more gas here. No, did you taste this gas to see if it's okay? Yeah, it's 93 out of 10. 93? Yep. Okay, she runs, she's burning some oil off. But uh, we're gonna call it a video and then we're going to get the carburetor right, get some gas to it from overhead and try to get it where we can uh, run it a little bit and maybe get it up on the concrete where we can run some water through it, keep it cool. And uh, we'll just run it enough to see if she's gonna be okay. Don't hear any noises, no rods, no, you know, nothing hammering. Uh, all the valves are unstuck. So I think she'll be all right. We will uh, keep playing with it. Maybe uh, get you another video out on it here soon. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye. Bye.